Now, a matrix is made up of a multiple um, of vectors at the sa of the same length, essentially. Um, like a table in a spreadsheet program, it contains multiple rows and multiple uh, columns um, of values. Okay, and it'll have two dimensions. A matrix has two dimensions. It's got a number of rows and a number of columns. Okay, uh, so in a matrix, in, in, in MATLAB, a matrix is entered uh, as a combination of what you've learned to do already in terms of rows and columns. So, for example, I'm going to make a matrix A. Okay, and it's going to have one, two, three in the first column, and then four, five, and six in the second column. Sorry, one, two, and three in the first row, four, five, six in the second row and 7, 8, and 9 in the third row. And I'm going to enter that command. And if I just display it, you'll see that it comes up as a table of data. Now in the workspace, you can actually double click on this vector. And notice that the workspace, it'll actually show it like a spreadsheet. We get a 3 by 3 double, and you can see it's actually like a spreadsheet layout. OK. And A, in this case, is a 3 by 3 matrix. You can also transpose a matrix in a similar way that we did before. And that converts um, the rows to columns in a similar fashion, rotating or uh, well, basically symmetric around the diagonal. So if I do A transpose, you can see that the row, instead of becoming, sorry, the, the row 1, 2, and 3 becomes a column of 1, 2, and 3, then 4, 5, and 6, and 7, 8, 9. You see. Notice the diagonal 1, 5, and 9 is the same for both of them, and basically all the other values are reflected around that diagonal line. Now you can also use colon notation to create a matrix. So here I'm going to go 0, 0 0.5 and 1. Okay, sorry, 0 0.5 and 1. Okay, so that's going to be a vector of three values. Again, uh, semicolon for the new line. I'm going to go uh, 4, 0 0.5 and 5. Semicolon, and we're going to go 10, 0 0.5, 11. Okay. So that's going to create another 3 by 3 matrix. And notice the first row is 0, 0 0.5 and 1, 4, 4.5 and 5, and 11, uh, 10, 10.5 and 11. Now remember the 1s and zeros command? Well, we can do the same thing to create matrices. So here we're going to create a 3 row, 2 column um, matrix of 1s. So we've got that, OK. And obviously, likewise with the zeros, I'm going to create a 2 row four column matrix of zeros. Here we are. There are other functions that could create matrices and vectors with special values. For example, you might often want a set of random numbers. And so there's a couple of commands, rand and rand i, to actually make um, a value. So if I, for example, if I did um, um, f equals rand, I don't know, let's create a two by two matrix of random numbers, then it creates random numbers. Notice that if I wanted integers, I should do um, rand i, which is integers. And that will give me a random, random set of integers in that, in that case. One particularly interesting application of MATLAB matrices is image processing, where each pixel of an image is stored in a single element of a matrix. If I type something like load clown, okay, this is a special inbuilt function in, in MATLAB, Oops, clown. Um, you get a, th a 320, uh, 200 by 320 element matrix called X in MATLAB, this one down here, OK? And you can then view the image by typing image, image SC, X, OK? Followed by color map, map. There it is, if I go color map and we call it gray, then we get actually get a grayscale image of the of that clown image, okay? And that's actually just a row or a matrix of values. If I double click on this, you can see it's just a bunch of different values, okay? And that, but that actually makes up that make that um, image um, based upon those values, okay? Now the other thing that, that the other term that might be worth remembering is what an array is. And basically, um, an array is made up of multiple matrices, okay, to create a three-dimensional block of numbers. So imagine you've got a matrix, and you've got another matrix on top of it, and another matrix on top of it. You end up with this three-dimensional array of numbers, okay? And this is where MATLAB 
um, you know, is extended beyond two-dimensional capabilities of, of spreadsheets. You know, in Excel, you can obviously have multiple spreadsheets, but the, you've uh, you've only ever got sort of two dimensions of a spreadsheet, an, an X direction, a Y direction. Whereas MATLAB, you can actually build up an array in three dimensions. In fact, in MATLAB, you can actually go beyond three dimensions, but that becomes very difficult to visualize and certainly beyond what we need to know for this course.